Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to get the Game Boy Advance emulator GPSP, which is the uh, GPSP Kai version uh, for PlayStation Portable, running on your PS Vita on 2.06 official firmware using the Apache Overkill exploit, uh, which is right here. And I don't like how this isn't black, so I'm going to change it to that. There. So now you can see the screen. So there's Apache Overkill, and I have the exploit loaded, and you will see that in a little bit. Uh, but right now we're just going to go to the computer. File I'm going to have you download is right here, the GPSP, uh, and I will have a link for uh, ROMs for this emulator as well. And uh, this is going to be the file you download here. Actually, uh, I'm going to rename it GPSP underscore uh, SR for uh, Software Reborn. So that's going to be my version of the GPSP. Uh, just simply because I took care and put the BIOS in here already for you guys. So uh, with this file downloaded, uh, double click on it and open it up or extract the files to whatever and you will see the GPSP folder. Open that up, you're going to see a data, an icon, uh, pick one, parafram, uh, param, SFO, and a readme text. Now the install zip is what you're going to be looking at. Double click and open up the install zip and uh, hit close. Now originally um, you would open up this folder and here's the GBA BIOS right here um, which I have put in here for you take care of everything. Uh, originally you would have to put that in there by yourself uh, but I had one and I figured well what the fuck's the point so that stays there like that. You should see all these files, uh, the config folder, font folder, GBA, uh, DVE manager, uh, the eboot for the game itself, config text, the BIOS, homehook.prx, and system buttons. So um, after you've checked all that, open up the GBA folder and then the ROM folder. Now what's going to go in here is your ROMs. I already have Super Mario World in here, which I'm going to rename Super Mario World, by the way. So I'm just going to call it uh, S-U-P-E-R Super Mario No, not Maz, in fact it. Just so I can tell what it is in the emulator Super Mario World Advanced 2 Alright, so now that that's changed, uh, I'm going to pull up some ROMs here, just to place in here real quick, just to show you how you need to put ROMs in this folder. Now, when you have this, uh, I recommend putting all your emulators that you want in here at the same time, just simply because um, you're going to want uh, to only install this one time, it makes life a whole lot easier, uh, but you can reinstall everything again and again that's the only problem you cannot add ROMs to it freely like you could with the PSP not just yet anyway uh, because uh, the uh, content manager won't allow it so you have to do it through this kind of hidden way I guess you can say so I'm just gonna come down here and uh, PSP and I'm gonna go to ROMs GBA and uh, all these ROMs here I'm going to compress and put in a zip file for you guys so you can just extract them yourselves and uh, choose which ones you want. Uh, these are all the ROMs that worked with the previous GPS Kai, so they should work fine with this one. So uh, let's see what we can get here. Uh, let's uh, scroll down. Some of my favorite games are down here. Uh, Super Mario World. Do, 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 do. I know there's more Sonic. Um, let's see. Let's see, what can I do? Oh, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do Metal Slug Advance real quick. Let me minimize that real quick. Close, bring that up. And uh, whatever it is, make sure it's the GBA file. Just make sure it's the GBA. I love how my PS Vita just decides to turn off. Make sure it's the GBA file. So uh, drag and drop that into here and you'll have zip compression and you want to change normal to store you have to change it to store or else it won't work so click OK and allow that to be put in there like so and I'm just gonna call this one metal or 
leave the GBA there and uh, I'm going to call this one Metal Slug Advance. Metal Slug Advance. And let's do one more. Let's do one more. Um, oops. Let's do one more here. Um, let's see. Really, that's all I have. I don't have the fucking Super Mario Advance, Mario Kart, Super Circuit, Plus uh, Spyro, Season of Ice, um, Inspector Gadget, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do Sonic Advanced. Fuck it. Close this. And again, in here, to your uh, install zip, drag and drop that into there. Compression method, store, make sure it's store. Hit OK, allow it to compress to that. And I'll exit this. I'll exit that. Okay, now, uh, let's get all these fucking numbers out of here because I don't need it. Just to make it deathly obvious. Okay, renamed. Cool. And back, you'll see the ROMs. And make sure it goes in the ROM folder. And this is the install zip, so exit. And file install zip was modified. Do you wish to update this archive? Click yes. So allow it to update the archive like so. And uh, while that's going, you're going to get ready to start your content manager on your PS Vita. So, keep wanting to call it a PSP. I'm so familiar with PSP. Alright. So now that that's all in there, what you want to do is go back till you see the GPSP folder in the extracted files. And uh, what you're going to do now is open up your documents. So go to documents and you want to go to the PS Vita folder right here, uh, which is automatically set up when you set your content manager up. And that's pretty obviously because uh, Sony just does it for you. And you want to go to P Save Data and then open up the 5BB555 or whatever fucking folder you have for yours. And simply all you're going to do is take the GPSP folder that you've updated and drag and drop that into there. Open up the GPSP folder, you'll see the data, icon, install, all that fun stuff. And the install file right here, the zip file, is what we just modified. So you can exit that now, and I'll exit this, and come over to the Vita. So what you're going to do now is start Content Manager. Go into your Content Manager and allow it to load. So it'll connect. PC, and Wi-Fi, because I don't feel like connecting USB. Connect to my PC. And you will see on your PC, it'll say Content Manager Assistant, user 316 or whatever user you are, is now connected. And what you're going to want to do is click PC to PS Vita. Go to Applications, and scroll down to Save Data, and click PSP and Other. And you will see the GPSP right here. So click that, and hit Copy. Now this will copy it to the system. Now it's going to copy it to your memory stick. You can delete this at any time because the game will be permanently installed on your system memory uh, using the half byte loader so you can delete the save data, it doesn't really matter uh, if you're concerned about memory on your memory stick. So allow that to copy over like so. Might take a while depending on how many emulator um, ROMs you have in there. So allow that to copy over. Now hit cancel and go back and all you need to do now is close your content manager and come down to Apache Overkill. Now this will only work if you have the exploit installed which I have in my last video which you can go take a look. It's the uh, 2.06 exploit official firmware v PS Vita uh, with Apache Overkill. If you have questions on where to get the game because it's no longer on the PSN store please PM me and I will show you how to get that as well. Scroll down the high scores hold down the X button and allow it to load the half byte loader 
or the Vita half byte loader as we would call it. And what you want to do is go back and go down to save data. This is the W menu by the way, which I like the most. And GPSP. Click X on it and it'll ask you do you want to install this homebrew. Click yes. And it will install it and it'll say how much time is remaining and uh it'll show what it's copying and everything. Now this is copied to your hard drive, uh, your internal memory on the PS Vita. And install to MS0 PSP game. So then go back in the folders and go to game and you will see GPSP right there. Click and start that and it will load the emulator. And here's the emulator here. Now we have Metal Slug, Advance, Sonic Advance 2 and Super Mario World and just for proof that this works I'm gonna start Super Mario World here, the foreign classic and here you go, and I'm gonna turn my volume down so you can hear me so there's the emulator there um, to do anything uh, I think it's start and select at the same time There we go. Um, and then you can come down here, load new cartridge. Let's uh, try Sonic Advance. Pick all that. Now there is a bug with saving with this. Um, that's about it. Load new cartridge. Come over here to Metal Slug. Load this one. There's that. So these are the emulators and all that stuff. So. Oh yeah, tri triangle is the button to go back to this screen uh, to go and load the new cartridges. And just to uh, exit it, just uh, the home start and select. Um, actually, I don't know if I can take a screenshot or not. It won't let me screenshot the screen. Metal Slug. Ooh. So yeah, but that's how you install the emulator on your uh, PS Vita with the Apache Overkill exploit. So the GPSP SR will be for download underneath and uh, as well as a zip archive of all those ROMs that I showed you so you can have something to pick from for your ROMs. Uh, anywhere else you can just go to like on a coolroms.com or something like that to uh, find other ROMs. So rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more homebrew and uh, the uh, emulator and games and stuff like that and installations for your Apache Overkill exploit on 26, or 206 official firmware. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So take it easy guys. Feel free to donate to my channel uh, for more materials, for more tutorials for you guys. And uh, like I said, everything will be available for download below in the more information. And uh, so stay tuned for more. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your Game Boy Advance emulator.